All right, everyone, welcome to our next talk. Uh, just a couple quick notes before we jump in the next talk. There was a schedule change. There was a talk scheduled at 10 o'clock tonight on social steganography. That has been moved to tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, in its place, there will be a talk called Medical Devices, Security and Privacy Issues. He's not dead, Jim, not really. So that talk will be here at 10 p.m. tonight. Please come and, and see it. It would be great. A couple other notes. Thank you for wearing your mask throughout the show. We really appreciate it. It really helps us uh, remain, keep, keep with our commitment to preserving our health and our sanity. Uh, Hackers Got Talent is tonight, so if you are interested, please go in. You don't need to sign up in advance. Just walk up and you can go in and participate. Lastly, workshops definitely need more helpers for today and for tomorrow. So if you're interested in being a volunteer and helping out in workshops, please go either to the info desk or try and find Mitch either through the Matrix chat channel or find him walking around in person. Lastly, please mute your phone during the talk because the audio equipment is very sensitive and we want to make sure that we don't interrupt the talk. Our next talk is on the ransomware protection full of holes from Soya Aoyama. So with that, we'll pass you on to Soya. Enjoy. Go ahead. Uh, hello, I'm Soya Aoyama, G2 System Integration Laboratory Limited, and uh, a founder and organizer of Besides Tokyo. Unfortunately, I could not go to New York because my boss did not allow me to travel. Now, it's 5 a.m. in Tokyo, so I'm very sleepy. <laughs> okay. Today, I will give a presentation entitled The Ransomware Protection Full of Holes. May 12, uh, 2017. Do you remember? Yes, it's the day of cyber attack by WannaCry. WannaCry caused tremendous damage all over the world. Microsoft has given one answer to ransomware represented by WannaCry. It's literally ransomware protection. Microsoft has added a ransomware protection feature in the Windows 10 All Creators update of the 2017 release. The new feature helps stop ransomware from accessing important files in real time, even if ransomware infects the computer. When the feature enables it protects folder, allowing only authorized apps to access files. The foundation of Windows ransomware protection is control folder access and consists of protected folders and allow an absolute control folder access. Note that control folder access is disabled by default. You need administrative privilege to enable it. Protected folders are folders that protect 
your files from being encrypted by ransomware. Here you can add the folders you want to protect. However, the default protected folders such as documents or pictures are listed, even if you don't specify them. Allow an absolute control holder access are apps that can access protected folders. It says that apps determined by Microsoft as friendly are always allowed, but they are not listed by default. Unfortunately, Microsoft's ransomware protection is full of holes. So many researchers are researching ways to bypass ransomware protection. This is a technique to exploit the inclusion of office apps in the whitelist and bypass control folder access using office OLE objects. This is a technique to bypass control folder access that writing the encrypted data from memory to a new file and then using the uh, rename code to replace the original file. This is a technique to bypass control holder access that takes advantage of the fact that security features are disabled when Windows starts in safe mode. And my research, a technique to bypass control holder access using DLL injection. This is explained in detail. In 2018, when I was researching on ransomware protection, I found that File Explorer has access to protected folders. I use the, uh, the computer object model hijacking to inject a malicious DL into File Explorer. Because COM objects are managed in the registry, they can be hijacked by uh, editing the registry to reference malicious payloads rather than legitimate uh, COM objects. And the uh, context menu handlers in include a list of shell extensions used by File Explorer. I focus on the uh, on this GUID in that list. If you search for this GUID in the registry, you will find it under CLS ID. So this GUID is the CLS ID that in, uh, identify the COM object. And the default value for in PROC server 32 is shell32.dll. If you can change this to Maisha DL, you can inject in uh, in, uh, inject it into File Explorer, but you cannot change this di uh, directory because its managed view 
of HG classic root. As described in MSDN, the managed view of HK classes root displays the managed value HK local machine and HK current user. And if both have value, HK current user will take precedence. In the case of this CLSID, there is a value in HK local machine, but not in HK current user. So if you add the value to HK current user, you can change value of HK classes root. Write a command in a batch file to add the path of the malicious ELL to HK current user. The start file explorer, it will load the malicious DLL. The malicious DLL runs on file explorer process, so it can encrypt protected for, uh, files. This completes the ransomware POC. Of course, I reported this research result to Microsoft, but they told me that this is not security vulnerability for following a uh, reason. Preceded, uh, uh, predicated of the attacker having login access to the target account already. Since you are only able to write to HKCU, you will not uh, be able to affect other users. The also so does not appear to be uh, uh, escalation of privileges. And finally, it would appear the attacker would not again uh, gain uh, anything from this attack. Huh? The attacker would gain ransom from this attack. So I have uh, presented this research at several conferences. This is my uh, previous uh, research. Well, a Forbes article in 2021 introduced Windows 10 ransomware protection as effective in protecting against ransomware. I question the Windows 10 ransomware protection is effective part of this article. As I thought my POC was still valid and could easily be encrypted. But just to be sure, I ran my POC on the latest Windows. Here is a video of the POC I mentioned earlier running on Windows 11. 
Here, the image of the echina is preserved in the uh, pictures folder. Next, open the ransomware protection setting screen. And enable control folder access. Launch batch files that have been successfully encrypted in the past. The program was blocked and the program, uh, the Echina is safe. Finally, a check of the block history shows that the control folder access protected the picture folder from the file explorer. As you can see, my previous uh, ex exploitation is now no longer valid. Microsoft said, my report is not vulnerability, but they had secretly fixed it. I was so trusted that I researched if there were any other holes in the ransomware protection. I checked control for the access registry and the list was empty for both arrowed applications and protected folders. The uh, default protected Folders such as documents and pictures, which we discussed in the first section, were not in protected folders. The default protected folder is in another registry and is in HK current user. This means that folders protected by default can be changed with user privileges. When you actually check the uh, property of picture folder, it says you can change. A good idea, but a bad idea for Microsoft. Just pops into my head. What happens, happens if, you, uh, if you change the location of picture folder? Before change folders, files are protected and cannot be encrypted. But by change folder, files in the original folder are not longer protected and should be able to be encrypted. I actually try it. Execute a new batch file. This time, reboot the system after uh, change the user folder. This is because the syst 
system needs a reboot to recognize the changes user folder. But rebooting uh, takes a long time. And I hate it. A little bit more. Unfortunately, Microsoft did not protect it, the Echina. Check the block history as before. There's nothing in the block history. Yes, I outfoxed Microsoft again. Microsoft miss simple things like this. Well, ah, sorry. Well, don't you want to know Microsoft's uh, reaction to this binary PV report? What a surprise. This time, it's just this one phrase. Because control folder access is the defense in depth security features. We cannot accept Microsoft to deal with ransomware protection issue. We need to inform many people about this issue. So I created a POC looks even more dangerous. I'm using the uh, component object model hijacking method again for injecting DLL into File Explorer. Actually, component object model hijacking can specify the network path. In other words, if you can write to the registry by exploiting any vulnerability, you can encrypt the file without sending the L to the target. I used the CV2018-3035 command, uh, command injection vulnerability in this POC. This, uh, uh, this is a vulnerability about Apache Sika server. Now, let me show you. The Echina is safe. Open the last protection setting screen and Enable control folder access. Check the IP address and
You see it to execute the Tika server. From here, the attacker use a curly to attack the target. The malicious DL is on curly. Uh, created as a uh, Samba user using a uh, eDaily edit and restart Samba uh, already complete. Uh, yeah. I created a shell uh, that ex executes the Python scripts downloaded from Explode, ah, explode AB with arguments. The argument is a command to be executed on the target, which is a change and execute multiple time. Unfortunately, Microsoft did not protect the Echina. Yes, I brilliantly encrypted files remotely. Will Microsoft uh, secretly fix it again? Probably. Yes. In summary, as you can see this time, I could encrypt the user data in a very easy and very ridiculous way. It is so simple that anyone can easily uh, imitate, uh, imitate it. But please never create ransomware using this method. I think backup is the only way to protect your data from ransomware. I suggest that you always have a backup of your data. Okay, my presentation is over. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Soya. This is a chance for him to ask any questions. He can't directly hear your questions, but we can either have you, I can walk up to the mic, we can bring the mic around if anyone has a question, or you can relate to me and I'll relay it to him. So the question, Soy, is what was Microsoft's reaction, or what was your reaction back to Microsoft? from the email you received saying it wasn't a problem. Uh, did you hear the question, Soya? Did you hear the question? <laughs> So Microsoft says uh, uh, 
Microsoft uh, uh, Microsoft is say same uh, answer. <laughs> of course. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you again for the talk, Soy. It was fascinating. And thank you, audience, for participating. And please come back for our next talk at the top of the hour. Right, what is our next one? Right to repair, fixing the DMCA, and legalizing tinkering.